Good morning, David. Good morning, Salim. Let us move on to our next uh, question. Uh, what is the overall project uh, risk and how is it measured and managed? This is a new concept which has been introduced into the world of project risk management in the last maybe five years. The idea that overall project risk is a concept which is separate and different from individual project risks. So this may sound um, like a language issue. We have risk and risks. But let me ask the, or pose the question this way. When I first started doing risk management a long time ago, 1984 I think it was, and I did my first risk assessment and I wrote a risk report and we identified 30 or something like 30 risks on a particular project. I gave the report to the uh, project manager and the project sponsor. Mm -hmm. And the project sponsor looked at the list of risks and he said, this is very interesting, but is it okay? Is my project too risky? And I said, well, I don't know. We have seven uh, high level red risks and we have 12 yellow risks and we have 20 green risks. Um, I said, I can see all that, but how risky is my project? And I realized, I don't know how to answer that question. I have a list of risks, but it doesn't tell you how risky is the project. What is the overall risk exposure, the overall project risk? And there's a difference between overall project risk, how risky is the project, and the list of risks in the risk yeah. register, which make up the individual things that we, we know are uncertainties that matter. And I struggled with that question for a number of years. How do I answer the question? I look at the list of risks and I say, this is very risky. Well, well, how do you know that? How can you make this list into that overall summary? And after about 10 or 15 years thinking, really, honestly, it took that long, we started to, to begin to put together some ideas around what overall project risk exposure meant and how you could build up that picture of how risky is the project. So when you go to the project sponsor or the business owner or the client, you can say, we have this list of risks that we're managing, but in summary, the overall project risk is this. And how do you answer that question? Do you answer it on a scale of one to 10, it's one or it's six or it's five? Um, or do you say it's red, yellow and green or some, we need some way, some metric of, of measuring it. So, overall project risk is defined as the risk exposure of the project as a whole. It's made up of a sum, a combination of the individual project risks, of course, but also other sources of uncertainty, things that could affect the project as a whole, which could be to do with project constraints or project requirements or the external project environment or the particular strategy of the organisation, all of which are bigger than individual project risks. So if that means it's not like a summary of, this, uh, of those risks? No, clearly the, the individual project risks are a component of the question, how risky is the project? But there are other things together. So, for example, we may be planning to undertake particular tasks and there's variation in how long those tasks will take and how much they will cost and how much resource we need to apply to them. That is not like an individual risk or something that might happen or might not happen. It's variation within the project plan itself. And that is a component of how risky the project is. There are levels of skill and knowledge and understanding and competence within the project team, which are sources of uncertainty for how the project will, will be delivered, which are not the same as the individual risks in the risk register. They're built into the, the, the competence and the knowledge of the people performing the project. And that contributes to overall how risky the project is. So we need some way of combining all of these sources of uncertainty together to get a metric for how risky is the project. Now there are two components to overall project risk. It's like probability and impact. Mm -hmm. So we might say, you know, in, in our basic uh, simple definition that we talked about earlier, risk is uncertainty that matters. We might ask the question, how uncertain is the overall project? And how much does that uncertainty matter for the overall project? So in terms of probability, we might ask the question, how likely is the overall project to meet its targets? 
So we have a, a timeline, we have a budget, we may have a performance requirement, we have particular um, uh, things that the customer needs us to deliver. How likely are we to deliver the full requirement on time, on budget? And that's a probability. And then we could look at the potential variation in that delivery. So if we're thinking about the timeline, there's a percentage chance that we'll be on time, but we could be late and we could be early. How much variation is there in the potential timeline? We have a budget target. What's our percentage chance of hitting the target? But we could be under budget or over budget. What is the potential variation? So the, the scope, the measure of overall project risk is in two, two dimensions, like all risk. Mm -hmm. It's the chance of hitting the targets and the potential variation available or, or, or likely or possible in those targets. Now, how do we combine all of the sources of uncertainty together to get those two measures? That's how we need to uh, measure and assess overall project risk. Yeah? So if that means uh, the overall uh, risk uh, can make the life um, much more easier to take a decision. Well, supporting decision making is one of the key purposes of risk management. So we understand how uncertain it is and how much variability there could be in, in the outcome. And then we can make decisions about project strategy, about project resourcing, about project prioritization. Of course, all of those things are part of the, the decision making framework of the project manager, the project sponsor, the business owner uh, and the organization within the portfolio of other projects. But we still face this question, to ask, answer the question, how risky is this project? We want to know the probability of hitting the targets and the potential variability, variation around each of those targets. The best way to do that, to combine together all of those sources of uncertainty, is simulation. Is to use some kind of simple simulation model, maybe using Monte Carlo, mm -hmm. maybe using sensitivity analysis, mm -hmm. which says these are the risks we know about, the individual risks, but there's also these other sources of uncertainty like variation within our planned tasks mm -hmm. and lack of competence or experience in our project team. We can combine those together in a simulation of the whole project and a simulation like Monte Carlo will give you percentage chance of hitting the target and the potential variation around that target. So Monte Carlo simulation is a good way of actually finding the overall riskiness of the project. And that need not be difficult. We talked in one of the earlier videos about when and why to use mm. quantitative risk analysis. And this is one of those times when you need to use that simulation approach. To answer the question, how risky is the overall project? We need to combine things together. And the only way to combine them, really, is with some kind of simulation. Well, very interesting. Thank you, Dave. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.